Alright team, this one is a biggie. We'll be focusing on the vitally important yet often misunderstood critical analysis. No fancy stuff this week, just the same episode format. We'll be starting with some what is critical analysis and why is it so important. Then I'll give you some quick tips on how to start thinking critically when writing. After that we'll look at two examples discussing the good and bad aspects. Finishing up with some further tips on adding critical reflection to your report and links to various additional resources. So what is critical analysis? Critical analysis is the consideration and comprehension of the broader environment in which discussing and solving issues. So why is critical analysis important? Critical analysis is fundamental to the progress of science, among other walks of life. It is required in a lot of years of your studies and you're likely to have these skills but aren't employing them. Often students will concentrate on describing a solution and failing to further analyse and reflect on their decision. Developing and honing these skills is a technique that will pay dividends down the line. To help you pick up this technique, let's use the example of ransomware. Take the question, should you pay the ransom when hit with ransomware? I predict most of you watching this would say, no, you should never pay criminals. That's a fair point. However, it lacks the analysis of both the original question and the answer of no. We'll focus on the latter first. The answer of no. No is an acceptable answer if you give a sound reasoning. Say that you should never pay criminals. Isn't that sound? Or else we won't be paying the tax. <laughs> no is an acceptable answer if you give a sound reason. Saying that you should never pay criminals isn't that sound reason. You should expand this by saying no, you shouldn't pay these ransomware gangs as this will fund further sophisticated attacks. This is a good and a much more detailed answer, so let's turn back to the original question. Well, the innocent among you may believe the only right thing to do is not to succumb to pay ransoms. There's a lot more to consider than just a simple yes or no. What if the ransom was a measly fiver? Any business could fork out for that, just for the inconvenience. Then reassess the security afterwards. What if your business will lose billions in revenue? and plenty of days in legal battles with clients due to downtime of the attack. Could you absorb the 8 million ransom if it ensures you don't lose billions? There will be many examples of when it may be acceptable to pay a ransom. It's this broader level of thinking that you have to consider. Here's a quick tip to help you get into that mindset. After arriving at a point, ask yourself, so what? What does this mean? Why is this significant? Is it successful? What are the implications of this? So on and so on. Then, where applicable, ask yourself, what's next? Is it transferable? How and where else can it be applied? Keep these questions handy and hopefully these will jog your thinking into more critical analysis areas. There's no rubric for critical analysis, but as I said, it's expected in the latter stages of your studies. So we're just going to go straight into the examples, starting with a poor example concerning a web application scanning paper, and particularly the discussion section of that paper. I want to discuss four aspects of it. The first aspect is good formatting. You can see that the sentence isolates a particular feature for evaluation. A good way to do that so then you get into your so what question. So we've identified it has the greatest accuracy. So what? But we can see from the second sentence, they don't even bother to, to ask the question or answer it. They go on to describe without any critical commentary. Not a good practice. Aspect number three here, this is good attempt at critical analysis. However, break it down. Mention the specific features and scanners so you can reword it to bolster the weight of the sentence. This might even take over multiple sentences. And then finally, overall, this is very weak. If the paragraph ends abruptly here, make sure you get in about it and keep analysing it to your heart's content. Align this with your aims and you'll be laughing. It just is so much easier when you've got something to work against. Go into as much detail as you want, and it's not going to get marked off for being too detailed. This wouldn't receive a good mark, but would receive encouraging feedback. So finally four, we can see there's a lack of depth, there's just poor depth, there's a significant omission of critical commentary throughout the full passage. 
make sure that you are getting in and about make sure you're adding this significant amount of critical analysis align this with your aims and some self-reflection and you'll be laughing easy way to get it done moving on to here's a decent example another four aspects to speak about this time this report looks at creating and then evaluating a network scanning tool firstly this example employs excellent use of cautious language whenever making a point don't treat it like the gospel try to be cautious see it appears to be leading network mapper it gives you a little bit of wiggle room to be wrong but still correct kind of like a politician However, this language doesn't last long. You can see in the second one, there's a poor word choice. This has come up before in other reporting quickie episodes. Best is not the ideal word. Use more accurate wording, such as most effective. The third aspect here, this is the best example of critical analysis across both examples because the tool has greater functionality and user experience. Therefore, it is suited to those with limited technical knowledge. Superb, do more like this. This could go further by saying, so that might be more applicable to people who work in small medium enterprises or people who don't have familiarity with other security products. Superb. The fourth aspect here, although okay brevity for the, an abstract or conclusion, it's not long enough. Greater length is required. More analysis is required here in the discussion. Overall, this potentially could get a good mark but it will get some encouraging comments to help it be even better next time and um, before we get to further resources i want to give you a quick tip make sure to see yourself and your work through the same critical lens by doing so it'll help you synthesize quality discussion in future work sections but a reminder not to get too carried away to the point in which you question and undermine your hard work no matter what work you've done, you've still done some work. Don't think of it as being w worthless. Almost wrapped up, but before we do that, make sure you check out some of these reading resources to help you refine your critical analysis skills. They're essential in your latter years, so get them learned early. There's also a page on Phasebank, which will assist you in getting the ball rolling. So to conclude, this episode has focused on critical analysis. We've discussed critical analysis and why it is vital to understand it and employ throughout your reports. We've seen poor and decent examples, so hopefully you can use these comments to inform your approach. Finally, we saw some additional resources, which you should definitely go away and read further to develop your skill set. That's all from me, folks. I hope you enjoyed this episode and good luck.